Welcome to this edition of Exam Tea with Exam Tay. Um, well, coffee and a uh, chocolate fudge bar anyway. Um, so, um, my name is Jem. I'm 35, uh, originally from Devon, uh, but I lived in Aberdeen, back in Devon right now, but it's all good. Um, and I've lost seven and a half stones since the beginning of January on Exam Tay. Um, still three stone to go, but um, I'm making headway on that, it's fine. Um, but the reason I'm actually speaking to you today is because it's PCOS Awareness Month and I'm a PCOS sufferer. So for those of you who don't know, PCOS or Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a, uh, it's a syndrome that affects about 1 in 10 women in the UK. Only about half of them experience symptoms, but some of those symptoms might include things like um, a painful periods, irregular periods, trouble conceiving, extra facial hair, extra body hair, um, problems with insulin levels, um, which obviously can lead to things like weight gain. That's the most common one that I think most people experience on this one. Um, and unfortunately, one of the other symptoms is that it's very difficult to lose weight. Yay! And that's where very low calorie um, diets come into it, really. So I've suffered from PCOS since I was 18. Um, I managed to go from about 10 stone up to 21 and a half stone. Um, and yeah, I kept, I tried various diets. I went up, I went down, I went up, I went down. But this is the, the first diet that I've really felt has worked. It's the first one I've kept to for so long. Um, and I've not seen this weight since I was a teenager. So it's obviously working quite well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so my, story with Exante started a few years ago actually um, but this year has been my year <laughs> um, so around Christmas time I um, saw some delightful photos of me that a family friend put on Facebook yay um, and I, I was at my worst in all honesty I had depression um, I hadn't been taking care of myself and that's something with PCOS you have to do you have to keep on top of your condition no one's going to do it for you there's no cure um, and the, the most effective way of managing your symptoms is to lose weight and to keep your weight as low as possible and at 21 and a half stone my weight was not as low as possible <laughs> um, so my hands and feet swelled up constantly my fingers I couldn't wear my wedding rings um, which when you've only been married for about two years was not good <laughs> Um, um, my shoes, I had to buy extra wide shoes, my feet were constantly in pain, my feet used to swell up so much that I'd feel like I was losing the circulation sometimes, my toes, it was pretty bad. Um, and I mean my doctors, they didn't want to prescribe me anything, um, they just said you know you need to exercise more and lose weight. Um, yeah. So yeah, as I said, I'd done a number of um, diets along the way and I'd kind of been keeping an eye on the Xanthe website and the Facebook page for a while. Um, and I saw that they changed the plan a bit, so it was now 800 calories, and you could be a bit more flexible with it. So I thought, okay, flexible's good, let's try flexible. So on the 2nd of January uh, this year, I started my journey, um, and I kept to it. <laughs> Never thought that would happen, but it did. I found things so easy, and it, things were so flexible, and the bars and the shakes and the soups and the meals, and everything just fit and I mean the Facebook support group has been a lifeline for me um, I'm on there pretty much every day I'm sorry um, but uh, I mean the support the guys share on both Facebook uh, Facegram, woo, <laughs> and Facebook and Instagram have been incredible um, couldn't have done it without them uh, they've got recipe ideas everyone shares stories motivation so even when you're having a really bad day when you just want to curl up in a ball and ignore the world it there's always someone you can talk to as well which is great um and i mean after over eight months on the plan um, i've lost seven and a half stone but i've also reduced my pcos symptoms quite dramatically so i've gone from a size 24 down to about a 14 to a 16 um but my hands have stopped swelling up all the time and um, I actually went through about a six months period where I could wear my wedding rings but I can't anymore because they're actually too big Yay! I need new ones <laughs> um, and shoes I can actually buy shoes from just like a supermarket or just a shop instead of having to try and find extra wide or wide fitting shoes I can I went to Sainsbury's and bought a pair of boots the other day I've not been able to do that for years 
Um, and things like the extra facial hair. I used to have so much fuzz. I basically had like sideburns that tried to join up with a neck beard. And, and that's reduced so much over the last like eight months. It's incredible. Um, my periods don't hurt as much anymore. They're regular. Um, they only last a few days. It, I, I can't count the ways that this diet has changed my life. So if anyone does have PCOS and is wondering whether this diet could help them, I, I would say give it a go. Give it a go. What have you got to lose except the weight? <laughs> Come on, guys. Thanks very much for listening and enjoy.